we are going to witness the mystery of birth. A bee is born, not an ordinary one, but the most important in a beehive, a queen bee. By the summer, up to 2,000 worker bees are born every day, and just a few queens during the whole season. Each one is to become the founding mother of a new colony, and will either lead away the swarm or consolidate the remaining part of the former colony left in the hive after swarming. Actually, in our own hives we manage to maintain a stable, peaceful coexistence of two or three queens depending on the season, but that is achieved thanks to specific techniques and contrary to bees' social biology. In any case, the birth of a queen bee is an event rather uncommon, and not too many beekeepers could claim that they had a chance to witness it. A special cell on the combs where a queen bee begins her life is called the queen cell. Bees build it vertically with the exit side pointing down. The growing queen occupies it head down too. When the time comes to exit, this arrangement makes it easier for her to chew off a circle or cut, open it like a hatch and emerge through it with minimal efforts. Her own weight will be helping her in the process. However, this natural position of a queen cell is not quite convenient for watching and taking pictures. Rumors are that King Louis XIV faced a similar kind of problem when he expressed his keen interest to observe the birth of the hare. If historic legends are true, it is since that time that those giving birth have to accommodate themselves not the way it is easier and more convenient for themselves, but to the convenience of those who are there to watch and help. So we just followed in the great king's footsteps when we turned the frame over and positioned it with the queen cell pointing upwards. This may have made it harder for the newborn to come out, but then again, the whole scene became so much easier for us to film and better for you to watch. And what are we seeing? Here is the birth of a worker bee for comparison. Nobody cares, nobody bothers to assist, comfort or even slow down for a moment. Bees run around on their business, literally stomping on the heads of the babies. In contrast, a queen cell is surrounded with courtiers. Hard to say if they are really helping, but they do bustle around and show their order. The most active ones are engaged in chewing off the opening hatch. The crack widens, letting one tendril out, then the second. The whole cortege is excited. Fast tendrils touching seems to let them actively communicate, using something like the Morse code. From inside her cell, the queen pushes hard on the hatch with her head and it starts to open bees rush to assist, final efforts, and the queen finally manages to squeeze herself out. She's born, long live the queen. Certainly it's a bit early to call the newborn a queen bee, rather a young princess. Her healthy look makes not only the attendants but the beekeeper happy as well. And somewhere aside, there is a young worker bee that was born just a moment ago all on her own. She totters alone, ready to join the rest and work tirelessly for the benefit of the colony all her short life. As the poet said, for everyone has their story and their path to glory. Mm -hmm.